Welcome all to BTB TV, Better Than Before Television, a show dedicated to the rehabilitation of your spirit, mind, body, and soul. I'm your host, Moses Israel, disciple of the Most High. Testimonies to help you get through those times of doubt, fear, and worry. Soft words of encouragement for the days when you just don't feel like getting out of bed. Strengths to help you break free of the chains that enslave you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, financially, and physically. And smiles and warm thoughts to help you get through those times of breakup, heartache, and discouragement. Believe it or not, there's many people around the world that share the same battles that you do, and I'm one of them. So come get restored and better than before. Let's go, come on. Today's message is on learning how to make decisions with perfect precision. Just picture your life, like you're driving on the highway, you got a green light, you have a red light, you have a yellow light. You turn, dead end, one way. Imagine your life being that way. Imagine the Most High sending you signs on, on where to go, how to go about it, just so you can remain and stay on that right path that he set for you. When you get to a red light, you know to stop. When you get to a green light, you know to go. When you get to a yellow light, you know to slow down. Take caution, look to your left, look to your right. Pay attention to the signs that you see every day. That is the sign of the spirit showing you to slow down, speed up, take a break. Today, I'm here to encourage you to follow the direction that you see and that you feel. Don't allow the flow of traffic. Traffic meaning someone else's life or someone else's thoughts or someone else's decisions to influence you what decision you should make. Instead, stay tuned to that spirit that's inside of you so you can go the right path and stay on that right direction. When I pull up to a yellow light, I'm looking to the left, to the right, wondering should I go or should I stop? That split decision could be the altering decision of your life. Running through that yellow light could cause you to get into a crucial or fatal accident. Stopping at that yellow light could save your life. Pay attention to every sign that you see around you because everything you go through is meant to ground you. The direction and path you take is ultimately up to you. Don't put that control in someone else's hands. Instead, allow the spirit to guide you and direct you in every step, in every move, in every thought. Don't allow the things of the past to dictate your future. Don't allow the discouraging words from an ex-boyfriend, an ex-husband, ex-girlfriend, ex-wife to make you feel like you can never find love again. Don't allow the molestations you went through, the, the child abuse you went through to dictate what kind of adult you're going to be. Don't allow those discouraging words from that teacher or that coach who told you you were never going to be nothing. Yeah, that happened to me. That To tell you that you'll never be nothing, to make you be a failure, to cause you not to succeed. When you believe in the spirit of Yahweh, Yahweh will bring you into a new light, a new life, a new consciousness. Every path you take is set already before you were born. For the Bible tells us that before we were born, he knew us. We were ordained for a time like this. You were ordained for a time like this. You're not worthless. Again, picture your life at that yellow light, at that red light, at that traffic stop. Every decision you make on a daily basis is sometimes not even thought of. It's like, you know, second nature. I'm going to turn right. I'm going to turn left. But how many times have you been driving? and you see someone driving the wrong way. Let that not be you. Make sure you follow the signs that's set before you. There's only one way to life. There's only one way to light. There's only one way to success and that way is following the spirit that's inside of you. Don't listen to what he say, she say. Don't follow the flow of traffic. There's been many times when, when I'm on an expressway and I'm driving 
and traffic is slowed down. I'm like, what's going on? Is, is there a fatal accident? Is there a, 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 a dangerous accident ahead, a, a, a road hazard ahead? Just to get to that point and realize it's just a bunch of people looking at something on the side of the expressway. Don't get caught up looking at the person on the side of the expressway. Don't get caught up looking at your peers, looking at those who mean you no good, th those who aren't put in your life to make you succeed and move forward. Instead, stay locked in on the path you're headed to. There's been many times where I'm caught up in the flow of traffic, other people, and I exit off before my time is to exit just to avoid the traffic jam just to realize when I exit, there's even a worse traffic jam ahead of me. Are you gonna allow your life to be that way as I just expressed? Think about that for one moment. How many times have you fell victim to acting and reacting to what other people are doing and saying? When will you make a decision in your mind to make a decision with precision? When will you make that decision in your mind to finally say, you know what, God, take control. You know what, Yahweh, use me so that I can be everything I was created to be. At that stoplight, there's many things that goes on. <laughs> you got people looking at their phones, you got people smoking a cigarette. You have some people even taking a drink, not focus on the road, not focus on the path ahead of them. Therefore, when the light turns green, they're not moving. Or even people who run through red lights because they're so busy focused on their phone, so, so busy focused on things that has nothing to do with the direction that they're going. Making the decision to not be focused can cause you to lose your life, your reason for existence, as well as the direction you're taking. I shared with one of my brothers not too long ago a story about someone who has a fully charged battery driving through traffic. If that person takes their car and gives everyone on the side of the road who battery has failed them a jump, what eventually will happen to his own battery? I asked him, he said, well, his battery will become weak. I said, exactly. So after you gave everyone a charge along the way to your destiny, to, along the way to your path, along the way to your destination, you too have become weak. Now you're on the side of the road, halted, stopped, stagnant, just because you chose to give everyone else a charge. I encourage you today, my brothers and sisters, to stay focused on the path ahead of you. The energy that you have inside of you has been placed inside of you so that you can get to where you need to go. Making decisions, again, based on someone else can cause you to miss out greatly on the life, the beautiful life that Yahweh has for you. I too was a victim of that, giving so much, giving so much to others that I, I lacked what I needed in myself until I finally had to make a decision. What decision do I want to make? Am I put on this earth just for other people? Or am I put on this earth to live the life that I was created to live? There's a thin line between love and hate, between help and hurt. Sometimes helping someone could be hurting that person. Think about that. Along the way, there are many signs, stop signs, yield signs, one way, dead end signs. How many relationships or situations or circumstances have you been in and you saw these signs, but yet you chose to ignore them 
There's many times where I have driven down a road that said dead end, but I just kept driving. How many times have you been inflicted the same way just to have to turn around and start back from scratch from the beginning all over again? I have a few scriptures I would like to read you. And this and these scriptures are something that that builds my faith and hopefully it builds your own. Ephesians 5, 15. Be careful how you walk, not as an unwise man, but a wise man. You see, wisdom is something that can't be taught. Wisdom is something that is gained through experience. Just as a man who learns how to drive, when he first learns how to drive, he's a little timid. He's afraid on the road because he don't know exactly how the traffic is going to flow. But as he drives, as he gains experience, his turns, his acceleration, his, his stops, his brakes, and becomes more professional. It becomes more, he becomes more of a, a avid driver. Things that once scared him, no longer scares him. Situations that made him feel uncomfortable, no longer makes him feel uncomfortable because he's gained experience. There was another scripture in Deuteronomy chapter four, verse nine. It said, only pay attention and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things which your eyes have seen, experience. And so that they don't depart from your heart all the days of your life. Make these things known to your children and your grandchildren, penetrating their minds and hearts with these words. Again, I'm going to read that one more time. Only pay attention and watch yourselves closely. Pay attention to yourself as we spoke in the way of traffic. You're in your car. Pay attention to your direction. Only pay attention and watch yourselves closely so that you do not forget the things which your eyes have seen. Once you've seen that sign that said dead end, when you've seen that sign that said one way, you've seen that sign that said stop, you see that sign that said yield, you must obey those laws. Those signs are there to prevent you from something. Those signs are also there to show you the way to go. Do not forget these things so that they won't depart from you. They won't leave you all the days of your life. Hide them in your heart. This is something that's very important to all mankind, whether you be black, white, Spanish, Asian, Indian, no matter what your culture is, no matter what your ethnicity is, no matter what your sexual preference is. We all need to follow the right path in that right direction. If you're at home right now feeling lost or feeling like I don't know which way to go, or feeling like I've seen all these signs, but yet I'm not in tune to these signs. I can't, I can't, I don't know which way to go. I don't know which way to turn. I don't know what to do. Take some time. As if you were in a car, if you were lost in the car, you would take the time to pull over on the side of the road, pull out your GPS and look at where you're going. Today, let that Bible, let that word of Yahweh be your GPS to guide you in the way that you're going. If you're feeling lost, if you're feeling disgruntled, if you're feeling like you're misdirected, if you're feeling like you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, take some time out. Take a break. Press on the brakes. Take your foot off the gas. Pull out your GPS and Yahweh will show you the way. Today is a reminder how much love the spirit of Yahweh has for you and for me. Do not let another second go by with you going the wrong direction. Take time to pull over, make a U-turn before you're so far away that you have to make a U-turn and come all the way back. There's been times where I ignored the signs. I'm driving down the road, ignoring the signs. I'm so too busy smoking, too busy in my phone passing all the exits that I'm supposed to exit at. Just to finally realize how far along the road I am that I have to exit off 
U-turn and go all the way back. Think about how much time, gas, wear and tear on my car <laughs> that was used up going back to a place that I was supposed to be originally. That same time, gas, and wear and tear is what we do to our bodies and our minds. When we just keep going and going and going and going, going the wrong direction till we finally realize, hey man, I'm going the wrong way. Now we have to use that energy, that passion, that strength, just to go all the way back to the starting point, just to move forward from that point. So today I'm here to let you know that you can become better than before. You can be restored. If you just give your life, your mind, your dedication to live in a righteous life dedicated to the right way. Here at BTB TV, we promise to uplift the name of the Most High, not only the name of the Most High, but uplift you too, my brother and my sister. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're gay, straight, black, white. We all need an answer. We all need hope. We all need direction. So today I'm going to send out a prayer to everyone that's lost right now. Heavenly Father, I come to you as your disciple, as your child, and ask you to grant direction, a spiritual GPS over the lives of those who are misdirected, over, over those who are lost, over those who don't know which way to go, over those who are confused. And just as a car that drives, let your spirit, let our spirit not run out of gas too soon, Lord. Let us not lose our lives going the wrong way. Let us use all the energy in every second of our lives dedicated to us going the right way, dedicated to us being successful in the endeavors we want to achieve, being successful in the accomplishments and goals we seek to garner. Thank you, Lord, for all you have done for us. In your name we pray, Yahweh Shalom. Peace out. Bless.